Hi everyone, my name is Danny and today I'm back with another crazy story. This case is about a used car salesman that sells a 2018 Ford S-Max with a 2 liter TDCI engine. So far, so good. But unfortunately, within days, the customer returns for warranty. The customer tells the used car salesman that the engine is intermittently hesitating. The used car salesman has a little scanner himself and he scans the car for fault codes, but there are no fault codes stored at all. So he books an appointment at a local workshop. When the car comes into that workshop, the workshop is able to confirm the customer complaint. The engine is hesitating. Despite the lack of fault codes, they are able to diagnose the vehicle. The conclusion, the car has got a faulty EGR valve. So the EGR valve is replaced. The used car salesman pays for the repair and for the diagnosis and everybody is happy. Until the next day, when the customer returns with the exact same symptoms. Trying to help his customer as good as he can, this time the used car salesman books an appointment at an official Ford dealership. At the dealership, they also cannot find any fault codes, but they do confirm the customer complaint. The engine is hesitating. Now, they've seen this before and based upon experience, they suspect faulty injectors. So next step, all four injectors are replaced with brand new ones and the car is returned to the customer. But the following day, the customer returns and unfortunately, nothing has changed. Understandably, the customer is now getting a bit frustrated and under local law, the customer can demand a full refund if the same issue isn't fixed within three attempts. The salesman already used two attempts. So with this in mind, he decided to contact a workshop that is specialized in advanced troubleshooting. The only problem, that workshop is located far, far away at the opposite side of the country. The specialist receives the vehicle along with the phone call from the used car salesman. He explains that this is the third attempt somebody is going to try and fix the vehicle and the vehicle has already been at two other workshops, including the main dealer. He also jokes that if the technician can fix the vehicle, he will not only pay what's ever needed to fix the vehicle, but he will also send him the best cake in the country. The specialist scans the car for fault codes and indeed there are no fault codes stored in any control module. But a test drive immediately confirms the customer complaint. Although the fault is intermittent, the specialist noticed that it appears mainly under load. Before diving really deep into this case and possibly spending a lot of time, he decides to first check for bulletins. This workshop is subscribed to DDTSB, so he opens the program, selects the vehicle, and then selects a symptom because he hasn't got any fault code. In this case, he selects engine performance and four relevant bulletins come up, but only one perfectly matches his symptoms. So he opens that first. The bulletin explains that these symptoms on this specific model and engine are often caused by incorrect readings from a faulty fuel temperature sensor. The specialist immediately takes his scan tool and looks at the fuel temperature data pit. And even though the vehicle is cold, the engine is cold, so the fuel must be cold, the temperature sensor is reporting well over 100 degrees Celsius. He replaces the fuel temperature sensor and finally all the issues are resolved. The specialist almost felt sorry for the car salesman because he had to bring the car to the opposite side of the country for an issue that could be resolved under 15 minutes by having access to DDTSB. But in the end, everybody was happy. The customer got his car back and it was fixed. The used car salesman, he was relieved that the issue was finally resolved. And the technician, he got paid, gained respect, gained the customer, and he was sent the best cake in the country. This video highlights the importance of having access to the right information. If the first two workshops had access to the DTSB, replacing the EGR valve and the injectors could have been avoided. DTSB will save you time, money and stress. By the way, we would have never known about this case if the specialist didn't contact our help desk and not with a technical question, but to thank us for the bulletin. If you also want access to this bulletin and thousands like it, go to diagnosedan.com, select 
DDTSB and read all about our product.